Hi guys, Nathan the Asher, aka The Prophecy, IFBB Pro. We're here now the day after uh, my first New York Pro debut. I'm happy with what happened. Um, we're here now in the Mecca, Bear Francis Gym. It's an honor to be here. I'm gonna take you a quick all around workouts. Check it out. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. As you'll see now, I like to bench with a grip called a suicide grip with the bottom of my palm. I find it more comfortable for myself and I can lift heavier weight. I don't like to wrap my finger around, it's just not as comfortable for me. It's not for everyone, but try it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I originally started bodybuilding when I was 18. I got introduced to the gym through a friend called uh, Dadden Smith. He's a semi-pro semi bodybuilder, you know. Um, he competed for many years. He said to me, you have a good physique, why don't you do bodybuilding? My original thought was, it's not for me, you know. I don't want to get tanned and wear trunks like a lady. But, he, but after two, three months, he kept on encouraging me, encouraging me. At the time, I had no money. He said, come to the gym, I'll support you, I'll help you. So for, for this, I thank Darren, you know. Because where I am today, without this guy, things wouldn't be possible. And then I compete for a federation called NABA as a junior, as a junior athlete. I, win a, I won every, everything for NABA, from the, the World Championships to the uh, Europe, to the European Championships, to the World, everything. You know, even my local shows, I was competing for two, year, two solid years, non-stop. And then from, from there, I went to, I got an invite, special invite to a UK BFF, which is um, the Federate, which is IFBB's United Kingdom Federation. Today, it felt a little bit heavy, but I only competed yesterday, so that's my excuse. I then went on to win the junior championships at the age of 21. I took maybe two years off from bodybuilding, then I came back. I won the intermediates under 100 kilo, British, British final, I was happy with that. But then bodybuilding, I got bored of it. Um, I decided to go back to, to soccer for my childhood years, because I love soccer, you know. The back of my mind still wanted to know how far I could push my body. And basically, what I could do with bodybuilding after I've won everything. So I go back to bodybuilding. This was maybe now 18, 19 months ago. And then I win the UK, are you in the UK BFF, British Finals Open? I win the under 100 kilo class. I was weighing at 99.9 kilo. I won that. Um, then I take the overall, which granted me my pro card. In the UK, we only get one pro card per year, not like America, you know? And then I was happy with that. I sat back, I thought, what can I do with this? What, what can I, what can't I do? My family kept on pushing me. Just go for it, just go for it. You've got nothing to lose. So, I, so basically I said, what the hell? I'll go for it, give it a good go. I, w I then spoke to my friend, Roly Winkler. Who I've known for maybe three years, even before I turned pro, I knew this guy. Uh, he's now my training partner out in Oxygen Gym, Q8. So I fly out to Q8 in November 2015. I was given it three months to see what was basically what, what I, if I liked it out there, you know, because the culture is, diff is different from back in the UK. I go there, face straight away is bitten by the bug. When you see a gym as good as oxygen, and you're there, and you're surrounded by everyone who loves bodybuilding, everybody keep, keeps pushing you, pushing you. Because back home, we don't have these gyms. We just have local, cheap uh, franchise gyms, you know? <coughs> It wasn't too bad, but you need to catch when I'm fat. When I'm fat, is when I'm strong. <laughs> Ready? Ready, man. Breakfast. Breakfast? You're gonna eat these weights, man. So, I go there, I, can, I train with my coach, Askar. He then says, look, I think you can do some serious damage in IPB Pro ranks. <laughs> First of all, I just laughed. Me, you know, just a kid from the, the block, the ghetto, do some damage in such a big, such a big, a big, a big federation. 
I just thought, okay, okay, mate, if you say so, you know. So uh, we kept on training, we kept on training, pushing the body, pushing the body. The boundaries getting pushed to the limit. My, uh, I think I gained yesterday on stage. I weighed for 113 kilo. Like I said, my last show was 99 kilo. So I gained four. I gained 14 kilo, which is 30 pound of stage weight muscle. As you can see from the, the video footage and things on my Instagram, I'm in shape. So you know it's 13. You know it's 30 pound of solid muscle, not just water and fat. So I'll be on in Kuwait now for six months. Uh, I love it there, you know. Um, my, it's, not, it's not a place for my family, I don't think, but I go back to Kuwait and I'll keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but keep my frame the way it is. More pleasing to the eye, more aesthetically pleasing to myself. Take it back to the, to the, 19, to the 90s era. That's what I think bodybuilding should be. Everyone has their own perspective on bodybuilding, but my perspective is streamline keep the waist tight, the muscles round, full, you know, shredded. This is how you should be. There's no excuses, there's nothing. You, you come in 100%. As long as you're better than your last show, you're a champion, no matter what the results may be. If you, make, if you finish dead last, but you know deep down you're better than your last show, don't let no one disencourage you because you've improved. Just the people ahead of you were better, simple as that. We'll just keep on going and that's basically how I got how I got started into bodybuilding but from now I can see from being on American soil for my first time I can see what now why everyone says oh the Yanks it's crazy over there in New York they love the, they love it they scream even they even though they didn't know me they was they were screaming going wild so now I like him I like American soil and I compete more often in America but uh, it's, for me, it's totally different. Even in even in Bev's gym, people know you. It's more of a home environment. So this so this is good. People, just because you see me, yeah, pulling big weights, it don't mean I'm not isolating the muscle. Always focus on the muscle. We're bodybuilders, yeah? We're not strong, man. Focus on the muscle, get the contraction, the weight will come easily, and we'll grow. One, two. That's just my, my story, like everyone else's, from into bodybuilding, you know? It all, it all starts with the gym. It all starts with this, that certain person. My certain person is there's Darren Smith from a local backstreet gym ghetto to now a twenty million dollar gym in Kuwait. That's where I come from and I'll always remember them gyms. Everyone knows everyone who knows me knows Nathan is the normal guy. I won't change for nobody or nothing. This is what you see is what you get. You like it or you hate it. Um, I will always stay humble to who I am. Basically, and where I'm from, I'm from Tox. I'm from Toxteth. Well, I'm from Liverpool, a place called Toxteth. It's not the best of places, not the best of homes, really, but it's my home. As you can see, guys, just hit 429 on the on the flat bench. The bars and bevs are a little bit heavier than the basic 45 pound. So, uh, as you can see, I'm pretty strong on bench. I had no straps, a young guy for the spotter, and uh, no belt. But you got to remember, you know, I've just only come off basically off stage less than 12 hours ago, so I'm not the strongest person right now. Um, off off season. Um, I'm normally benching, when, when my coach lets me bench, it's uh, 5.20s, 20, 20 a side, which is 5.45s. 
I don't know what that is. I'm too tired to add up. <laughs> but um, that's my strength on bench. Uh, my shoulder press, I normally get 150 pounds for occasionally 15 to 20. Today I was a little bit tired, as you can see again. Um, we didn't do, we didn't cover legs because I have a show next week and I can't afford for the, the water to come down. But my off season, as you will see on my Instagram, my, on my uh, Facebook page, I squat three bar, seven plates, eas easily, comfortably, ass to ground for seven to ten reps. Um, I like, I'm not the strongest person on back, so I can't basically big that one up. Arms, I'm quite strong on. You know, I curl in the in the region of uh, 70 to 80, 80 pounds for ten each arm. Um, Basically, that's it, you know, the basic, the, the basic compound movements. But don't just throw the weight around. Make sure every, every, every time you go heavy, you have a spotter. Spotter is the most important. Make sure the spotter is someone who basically has gym ethics, you know, who knows what they're doing and be, just be careful. Focus on the muscle and not the weight. We're bodybuilders at the end of the day. Remember this. We're not strong men. Contract the muscle and then the, the, the weight will come. To me, 429 was comfortable. So, but for you, you know, 129 might be comfortable. It don't matter as long as you as long as you feel a contraction and you feel and you feel a pump, then you're gonna then you're gonna grow. Don't just copy the next guy. Follow yourself. Be yourself, and you know this will always work for you. And I thank the UK BFF for this chance, the IFBB, yeah, my coach Askar, Mr. Bader Bade, and uh, most importantly, I thank my family for supporting me, for being my backbone support. Even when I was struggling to get by, we, we, we made it by, and till this day, uh, I hopefully can make something of this, you know, and hopefully the world will know who Nathan Dasher is and who Nathan Dasher will be. And uh, I hope you like what you see, and. If you do, then follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Nathan Diasha. You know, my fam my Facebook like page is Nathan Diasha. Also, you know, not easy, I'm not the hardest person to find. Um, but if you know, drop a comment. I always reply. Uh, that's it, really, guys. But thank you for watching and keep tuned.